let's talk about the different enforcement types of Azure policy. There are four main categories of the different policy effects. The first is audit, meaning that we will let the resource get created, but flag the resource as non-compliant. The second is deny, where we will actually block the creation of the resource. Let's take a look at what it will look like from a resource creation experience. In this example, I'm trying to create a virtual machine for a UK South region and for D-Series virtual machine. Once I click on to create, this will run the final validation, where it will fail because of the policies that I've assigned. So the resource creation actually did not get through, and so I'm left with a clean and compliant environment despite the attempt. This deny experience um, happens across any resource types that you have, and whether the developer is using the portal, CLI, PowerShell, or Azure DevOps, they will all get denied with the same message that it was denied by policy with the policy name. The last two effects that we have for policy are our remediation effects. Append will literally append the resource request so that it has the right configuration in place. For example, if you want to require a tag to be in place, um, we will evaluate whether the tag already exists or not, and if the tag is missing, we will append the resource request so that it has the proper tags in the first place. Deploy if not exist is our auto remediation policy effect where when the resource gets created, if it doesn't have the right um, configuration or the resource child resources, we will run an ARM template to automatically remediate the issue. Let's take a look at how it actually works. There are two primary engines behind Azure Policy. The first is for our enforcement, and the second is around compliance evaluation. Azure Policy's enforcement engine is tucked right behind ARM front door so that it gets evaluated before the actual resource creation. When the resource request comes in, it gets evaluated by first, and if there's a deny policy that's blocking the resource creation, we will drop the request. At this point, we will record the event on the Azure Activity Log. Now let's say that a resource request comes in and is compliant according to policy. Then we will let the resource request go through and the resource will be created. Now for most customers, they already have resources in their environment. And for these existing resources, we will run the compliance evaluation to give you a state of compliant, non-compliant, or exempt per policy that you've assigned.